about testing here yesterday. We were fortunate because we got a good solid 10, 11 hours in. But, again, we've talked a lot about the pro nitrous wars here. We've talked about the first car in the 60s. And the guy who's putting the money up actually is the sponsor of this race car inside this trailer that's driven by Jay Cox, who, by the way, ran the quickest numbers of his career and of the event here yesterday. And i got to tell you, I'm sure your feet are still a little bit high off the ground. Oh, we're excited. We're excited. I, I, I knew it was going to run good. We run good in testing, and, uh, you know, Charlie's put a lot of time in, and I, I was excited to do it in front of everybody, you know, make, make believers out of people. You know, it, 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 I, I said this going into this season. This was going to be the real season of the Battle of the Engine Builders, and I'm going to tell you something that's going to prove it's, Yesterday, pretty well proved itself out. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of good engine builders out there, and everybody's catching up with these big cubic inch motors. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real interesting. It's gonna be a tight race. It's gonna be like pro stock, I think. Everybody's gonna be within a couple hundreds of each other. I can't wait, Charlie Buck. By the way, good to see you here as well. You know, we we had a chance to uh, to visit with you a while back, and very honorable to get to visit with you. Your thoughts on uh, this car and this kid? Uh, he's done a real good job so far. He's uh, he's really surprised me, but well, I can't say he surprised me because anything he goes at, he's he just goes at it, you know, just like when he played ball. I mean, he was he goes at it really hard. Yeah. Yeah. And he uh, all he does is studies this stuff 24 hours. I mean, I'm telling everybody, nobody realizes how much he does this. Yeah, I guarantee it. I must ask you this question while I'm here. Your house car was a little bit temperamental here yesterday. I'm not sure that you were here, but. Chris's car was real temperamental on the track, which is very unusual. Yeah, I wasn't here yesterday, and uh, actually Jay's been helping him and uh, just trying to figure out a few things on it because we've sort of changed it around and trying to make it more like Jay's car. So that's what they're, they're working on that, and it'll, it'll get good, though. So really, for the most part, at the end of the day, it's pretty much about horsepower management right now. Uh, power management's a big <laughs> thing right now, a very big thing. I'm so proud of you guys and your efforts. And, uh, again, I'm not taking any way, anything away from any other engine builders, but it's neat to see it turn into a real good competition right now. Yeah, it is. And there's really a lot of good engine builders out here. And uh, it's just uh, we'll see this year how everybody does. But, uh, you know, I don't get as much recognition because I'm a lot smaller than a lot of these guys. So I like being in the thick of things, too. Absolutely. Jay, my friend, congratulations. By the way, thank you for your hospitality when we come by your crib there a couple weeks ago. I appreciate it, buddy. And on, on Chris's car, another note. You, you see us struggling a little bit. We've had a rough winter. We ain't got a chance to get out and test with it, and we've made some changes on that thing, and we've made a lot of horsepower with it. And these two cars, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, these two cars are going to run pretty identical. Um, we've had to make some pretty significant changes on it, and we're going to get out next week and test with it. And we'll probably get a little hand on it today if we get a couple more hits on it. But come Rockingham, that, that old red bullet over there is going to run. Y'all be ready for it. It's going to be cool. Let me tell you what, it's not going to be a one-horse horsepower event this season of Pro Nitrous. I know I've spoken a good bit about that throughout this course of these few interviews we've done here throughout the day, but I'm telling you, there's going to be some big power. Pro Nitrous is going to be a fun time here in 2015 at PDRA. You're watching PDRA TV from Ennis, Texas to the Texas Nationals.